Here I want to talk about how to use Google Maps Street View on the iPhone. And there are multiple ways how you can do that and it's just pretty much up to you on which one you want to go for. Of course, you can still go ahead and open up Safari in case you don't even have the Google Maps downloaded. I mean, there is still the option to use it there, which is really inconvenient, but I guess that you can go ahead and do so. So, like I say, it makes more sense to simply go ahead and go to the App Store and download Google Maps. And within the app, it doesn't really work the same way as you are probably used to from laptop. It's kind of different, but let me show you how it works. So you pretty much locate any address you would want. You can search for stuff or you can zoom it in anywhere on the map. Of course, at first, the actual street have to be mapped. Like uh, the street view has to be available. If you go somewhere like uh, to countries where this is not, then you can do whatever you want. You just will not be able to access uh, the street view. I mean, this is common sense, but I just had to mention it. By the way, here is uh, the map where uh, Google Maps is available. It's pretty much all of uh, Europe, uh, North and South America, and like the more developed countries definitely do have it. Okay, so the way it works is that you locate any point on a map, you just zoom in, and then you pretty much decide where you want to go and take a look at uh, the street. You hold down with your finger on uh, the street or on uh, the place, and it's gonna show you, like, it's gonna drop a pin, it's gonna locate, or it's gonna select the, the thing that is on the map. But if you swipe up from that, you should be able to see the street view. So you're gonna go like this, you're gonna click on it, and now you are in this 3D view of the street. Uh, you cannot really walk around, so for this, you use the blue line at the, the bottom, which you can drag on to go forward and backwards. And if you have an intersection, you can, of course, go wherever you want. If you cannot see it next to it, it's probably not available there. Also, you don't really need to swipe up. If you already hold down to a point on a map, a small square uh, right there above the name should pop up if the street view is available. But like I say, this is not the only option you have. But before we dive into this, I want to say that if you're new on this channel, I definitely think that you would benefit from subscribing because it helps you in the long run and helps the channel. It keeps you updated. So make sure to consider doing that and let's continue with the video. And the other option you have is to download the dedicated Google Street View app from the App Store. And there are some things to consider with it. If you don't intend on browsing the streets throughout the day or making it something serious, if you just want to look at where something is, Google Maps is definitely enough for you and you don't even have to download the Street View app. However, if you enjoy walking around in the city, or stuff like that, then you can go, definitely go ahead and get it. But the Street View app is sort of like a community, I guess. It's like the project where you can upload your own 360 views of places to the Google Maps using this app right from the iPhone. They even give you tips on how to actually make a good 360 photo that could be uploaded to Google Maps. So even though you can browse for stuff in this dedicated app, you can also upload your own 360 views, like I say, and it's more like of your like personal private tab you have here. You have some people which you can connect your photos with, and it's more like a trying to get a like a community, I guess, but it's really, I mean, this is something a bit more extra. So if you want to add something, you can click on the orange button in the lower right corner with the camera icon and you can create stuff, but it's, uh, I mean, you probably only want to browse, browse things. This app is also good for some suggestions. So whenever you tap on any place, it gives you like a couple of suggested places that you can check out and are probably cool, like spherical photos of that place or even a street view from the official Google uh, car that drives around. But uh, if you also want to see where exactly this is uh, mapped, what countries and what places do have Google Street View, this app also does that because if you zoom out completely, you can walk around or move around at the map and you can see exactly in a blue, darker, darker blue color, which places have been mapped by Google Street View cars. 
like I say, this app is for people that take it a little bit more seriously. If you just want to take a look at some place because you want to find something or you're simply going on a visit and you don't know how it actually gets there, which road you should take, then definitely Google Maps is the way to go. But if you want to like browse through cities and stuff, just go ahead and use the uh, Google Street View. And in terms of how it works, you pretty much zoom in, you click on place, and I definitely think that you will be able to navigate through it. It's nothing difficult at all. So you can just click on any place you want, and you just click on whatever result, and you can move around very easily. So thank you very much for watching. This is pretty much at the end. I don't think that there is anything else what I wanted to say or add to this. Uh, the links will probably be found down below in the description, even though if you search for uh, this term in the App Store, you'll definitely be able to find it. So again, thanks a lot for sticking by all the way to the end and see you guys later in the next video.